Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Nolly, and welcome back to some more Pokemon MMO 3D. So yeah, we're gonna be going hunting for the next Pokemon that we're gonna try and find. Uh, let's see who's gonna be next on our list. Uh, the next one we should aim for is actually we should go back and try to get a side deck. But I also want this. I wonder if there's even a chance of getting that, actually. I don't think that one's in the game. That I know of. Yeah, I don't think that's in the game. I'm probably thinking of something totally different right now. Because it's supposed to be after um, you guys, but I don't think it is. Hold on. Hey, game. God damn it. Stop. Okay, yeah, it's not in the game yet. Noted. Oh, fur fetch. Well, yeah, let's go look for a Furfetch. Why not? So it was inside this small area right here. So that's like right above uh, Vermilion City. Or inside of Vermilion City, actually. Okay, we could try that. It's also morning time, too. All right, let's go. There's not like a lot of people on right now, so kind of like a good chance of trying to get it. There are a lot of people in the city though. Are people just farming here? I hope not. I'll say that'd be random. Good thing this area is like empty. What's that? Looks like a Meowth. Excuse me. I forgot your uh, speed is not good. Yeah, that's a Meowth. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Throw out this. See if we can find your reset. Jeez, man, how how far is your D spot? Okay, there it is. How about to say, did you fully D spot? It's probably because he's running, and I need him to stop. <laughs> okay, right about here is where we need to be. Somewhat. I don't know what it is. Seems like there's gonna be a little bit of latency on this one. I also don't know what a fur fetch looks like from far away, which is gonna be troublesome because I gotta keep going back. Their despawn rate is like re well, radius is like really damn uh, big. So it's going to be hard to tell if you've gotten the right one. How about say? Is it... Okay, yeah, this is going to be weird. Maybe I should find a different one. One that sits still a lot longer. Like this one. Hello? I feel like you just fully despawned. And you did. Okay then. <laughs> wow, I just can't have that. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Okay. Guess I will have to use you, buddy.
I'd say as soon as I place down a Pokemon, they're coming out for blood. <laughs> That is a rat. Alright, so it says uncommon, so it's not like as bad as Snorlax, I'm pretty sure. Who knows? Soft resetting for one of these guys is going to be fun. When is soft resetting never fun? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> other than just doing it the normal way and just being lucky enough to run into it. Could be that one guy who just kills all of them. Ah, somebody's blocking somebody else's reset in chat. Pretty sure it's not me. <laughs> I say, come on, reset. Ah, well, there's going to be probably a, quite a few episodes, to be honest, until we start like a leveling phase and getting everything evolved. Good thing Furfetch doesn't evolve, so I don't have to worry about it. But it is going to definitely be interesting getting all these uh, Pokemon. I think the most difficult ones are going to be the starters for me. Even though I think I do know where they're at, they're in uh, Pallet Town. The little city that's below. So that's going to be easy. Um, as for, what's his name, uh, Squirtle is on site, on some kind of beach that I gotta figure out where that is. I know where the Eevees are, they're like on the right side of the Pallet Town. Why can't I just have like some random grass here and it shakes and tells me where something is, <laughs> something rare is. Was that more of a simple lifetime than resetting <laughs> probably probably not <laughs> unfortunately it's kind of hard to actually tell what's out here because you can't target onto it you know so you never know what it is unless you get like really closer to it so I find myself instead of doing like the short back and forth strat find myself doing like this and going up there just to check which is kind of like wasting more time but it seems like the only logical way to be safe that I don't skip it that nah, looks like a meow up oh, no it's a rat like I said man it's hard to tell Just because your lock-on is like, kind of has like a short distance, so you, you can't really rely on it too much. Even when like tabbing from this distance, I'll still always be target to that one that's behind me. Alright, so I figured out that you can kind of tap on them from a distance, but... It's like a really, really small window to where you can. I was about to say, because you guys can hear me clicking quite a bit just to figure out what it is. <laughs> if I can't tell what it is, then I'll just start clicking the hell out of it. And am I going to get that window? Not from this distance. Okay, yes, yeah, a rat. No, oh, I didn't even know where the other one came from. That's what you targeted over there. But yeah, it's been like 20, 20 minutes since I've started doing this. 
So yeah. Going on 20 minutes. Still nothing yet. I say we give it an hour. If we can't find it, we'll go find something a lot easier to grab. Because I think there's a lot of Pokemons we haven't grabbed on that uh, Volcano Island. Quite a bit of them we haven't grabbed. And they're all mostly inside of that little mansion. Wait, have we caught a coughing? I think we did. At least I think we did. We still gotta evolve it though. Which is what I'll do on like a double XP. I think I have everything set up to where I know how I want to do things. At least I think so. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in like the next 20 minutes or so. Oh, what the hell? Not the thing I was trying to get. <laughs> I was trying to adjust to where I can get like two Pokemon to reset and this guy popped up. I don't think I have one of you, do I? I'm just going to stand right here while I check. I don't think I do. No, I don't actually. Hey, buddy. No, come here. Don't you teleport on me, you son of a bitch. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> <laughs> you tried the dip on me. Not today. <laughs> Funny enough, I don't have one of you. Plus, you're a pretty decent level, too. I think the Pokemon that are going to take the longest are the um, happiness ones that I'm just going to have to, you know, just carry with me through every episode. Just carry a full on happiness party. Okay, now I got to get my stuff reset again. What's that? Is that a Meowth? Yeah, that's a Meowth. So the one that was in the middle is now gone. I need the fuck, bro. How dare you do this to me? Uh, do I want to catch that one or this one? I think I'm going to try and get this one. That's on a cliff side. Ah, uh, hello? What is that? Okay. It's a Spiro. Okay, he should despawn right about now. Okay, I guess I was in his spawn radius, which I didn't realize. Ah, there's another one. I'd say he hasn't been spawning a lot either. Wait, is this the outskirts of the place? Or is this, like, still the inside? Because when I was resetting here, only thing that kept popping up was a Ratty and um, Pidgey. And nothing else. But this one seems to be changing to everything else. Hello? Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's funny. As soon as we change over here, it's just like, hey, dude, what's what's good? What's bracken? Hey, come here, come here, buddy. Come here, come here, come here, come and meet my trainer, the one that's gonna catch you. No, don't fly with it in your mouth. Hey, you take that out. You don't supposed to eat that. You're gonna try and peck me, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, I know your type, the pecking type. No, no, you come back here. God damn it. Yeah, I think we're in a good enough radius to where we could just run up and get it. I just want to make sure. Ah! <laughs> ah, finally, we got it. Actually, didn't take too long. I guess it's not inside of town. It's like on the outskirts. 
to where it's better to get. I like to get Pokemon that are like on the slope a little bit. Just because it seems that they register their um, respawn a lot better. If you're having... Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, all that trouble and just two of them randomly spawn here. Alright, I'll just take another one for the road. Why not? I have like 25 Pokeball. I'd probably have like 23. No, 22. Alright, they're just showing me, hey dude, they're not common, haha, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> but yeah, I figured out that trying to catch anything that's kind of like moving or have latency on them uh, when they respawn probably isn't the best thing to go for because they're probably lagged out or glitched in some type of way. So it's probably better to find something that quickly pops up or changes into multiple things a lot better. So this one's sassy, huh? Not good uh, IVs though. Hmm. I forget what Impish does. I mean, good speed IV. That's about it. Maybe somebody will want to trade for those. I'll just leave them in here. So we got the fur fetch. Great. It's not too into the video right now. So let's go hunt another. Say okay, Furfetch found. I actually seen this Pokemon, and that's at the like the entrance of a um, Mewtwo. That cave, Solidon Cave, I think that's it. Okay, let's go here and catch those uh, other Pokemon. Hold up. There we go. I don't think this one's on this island, actually. Okay, let's check and see if we have a coffin. Ha! <laughs> they have everything from X and Y over here. I can't wait for them to add in these Pokemon, because this is some of like, my favorite generation Pokemon. Emporion is definitely what I want right now. That'd be fucking amazing to do. Actually, is his um, out portrait here? Oh yeah, there he is. Ah, I can't wait for that. I would definitely solve reset for those. Like, without a doubt. Mmm, Flygon. Ah, some of my favorite Pokemon. Wait, where'd he go? There's another favorite Pokemon that I just saw. I think it's Argon? Yeah, him right there. I can't wait to see how they do these models. Ah, man. I'm just hyped thinking about it. Hey, no, stop. If you don't work, I already checked you. Yeah, it doesn't look like I got a, a coughing, so I probably do have to go back and get one. Or maybe I'm blind. That does seem to what <laughs> what happens a lot. I'm just blind. To be honest, I can also catch a whole bunch of legendaries when I get to that point and just start trading for starters and stuff. Where is Coughing's outline? Okay, there it is. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Alright. Ah, here it is. This is the place where these Coughing's are. I think there's quite a few other things in here too. Hey, you guys coming out the door? Don't you dare come out the door. You gotta stay in there. Oh, there's one. Yeah. 
Oh, that's the wrong one. I tried to summon it. Jesus Christ, man. You, you, and this is not something I like. We need you to calm down. Oh, wow, there's a lot of you suckers here. Okay, we have a right cage. Uh, what's up uh, here? Dude, the fun part is when we start adding in like the actual puzzles from the old games. That's gonna be fun. No, ha trying to get to gym leaders and stuff like that. I used to love those. Oh, well, that's perfect. Hey. Ah, he's like, no! <laughs> Look at him, he's no! Please, God! Not in the Pokeball! <laughs> okay, we got the second one I was gonna actually start looking for. I don't think there's anything else here. I could be wrong. It is morning, morning, so Growlitz could be popping up. Oh, there's another one. Actually, what CP are you? Not CP, uh, IV. Ah, those are some very decent IVs, and I think the game just... Okay, no, I just couldn't get it out. Uh, not have bad IVs, though. Special tank is up, defense is up. Eh, moderate special defense. Some R ride speed. Not too bad. What about you, buddy? Really good speed, really good special attack, really good special defense. Not good de defense wise, but his defense is already pretty damn high. I mean, if you want him to be like extremely good against defense, well, uh, normal attack, then I guess that would be actually pretty good. Just to have one with a uh, high defense. Zapdos. That's another thing we're going to have to catch sooner or later. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Okay, you guys can have these in the box. Get in the box. Okay, let's go catch one more. Wait, aren't there hoo hoots over here? Is it one to cave? Oh, wrong thing. I was just sitting here like, why am I typing this? <laughs> Oh, they're on the other side of the map. In the um, other region. Not this region that we're at. So I think I'm going to skip that one. But we are going to go down to the other one. Because I remember seeing one of these. In another cave that we're in. If the game would let me. Hello. God damn it. Game. Okay. Just. There, there we go. There we go. <laughs> Jeez. Huh. So I guess that was just somebody else just carrying it around. 
No, I never got the whole not wild thing for Pokemon. Considering the fact that I guess Pokemon don't evolve if they're in the wild. Like they're peaceful or something. When I've literally seen in the anime that they attack each other. It's basically like, alright dude. So you're saying they just don't live to evolve? <laughs> No, that's the mindset I've already seen. It's just like they don't live to evolve. Is that is that what I'm hearing here? <laughs> you guys just basically like, fuck all these. <laughs> uh, well, I wish there was a lot more uh, fish Pokemon. To be honest, a lot more water types. I wonder if Ditto is a thing right now, because that would actually be pretty damn sick if there was a Ditto. But I'm pretty sure Dittos aren't in the game yet. Because that would be pretty damn weird, wouldn't it be? Yeah. Just because they're going to have to figure out the complications behind that. Forward and like transformation. Because that's literally all he has. It's just transformation. He just gets the skills. I bet you everybody's going to be hunting for a Gyarados as soon as it comes out. Actually, where are Dratinis? Aren't they um, across the map on uh, other region? I think they are Hoenn. Yeah, they're in Hoenn. Like I said, we're sticking to catching everything in this region. Then we move over to that region. Can't wait. God damn it, I keep forgetting that that does that is not how that works. Lick it's on. I saw it, game oh, god damn it. Lick, 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 lick. There it is. <laughs> Another Pokemon that is in the other region and not this one. If you guys are wondering what I mean. Yeah, just this half is this region. Oh, that's Johto. This is Kanto, right? Yeah, this is the Johto region. This is Kanto. Everything else is in Johto that pops up on this side of the map. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure right here this could be that side. Nah, it's up here in that region. Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll just figure out something else. One more catch. One more catch. Who would it be? Actually, we haven't caught a Diglett. Now that I realize. And Diglets pop up. Oh, in this area. Uh, on Route 11. This is right next to the town where we're just in. So we have to go right. Well, actually, we spawn in this way, so we have to go left. Okay. So back to Vermilion City. Stop it. So we go this way. Well, actually, which way is the, the water? Now I think about it. <laughs> Yo, Frosty, look for me. Okay, so this is the water, so we do go this way. Okay, just had to make sure. I said, I don't think he's resetting. I said, I don't see his Pokemon around. But I didn't even check and see if Diglets were, like, common. They probably are, because they're, they're Diglets, after all. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Um. Okay. That screwed up. Let's try again. Why is it showing up as a Bulbasaur? Well, 
I, I guess Diglets are now Bulbasaurs. I knew it. Everything was a lie. Okay, so that changes. Now can I see the Diglet? Thank you. They are common. Okay, so they pop up pretty often. And they only pop up in the warning. So it sounds like we just hit the next uh, region. To make this easier on ourselves, we can always just do detail gone. I kind of wish we could lock on or use our Pokédex to tell us which one is like closest, you know? <laughs> but then again, that would be weird because of reset and it would just constantly keep changing. <laughs> well, actually, I guess Pokédex telling you what's in your point of view would actually be interesting. Or what's like up on the map right now. I guess that wouldn't be too bad of an idea. We're still heading around this region over here. To myself, I'm thinking I don't really need to soft reset. But actually, who knows? I might need to. To be honest, we caught a lot today. That's an oddish. How far out was this again? <laughs> Let's see, what is this little thing skidding around? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that? It apparently is something I need. Hey, buddy. Eat sand attack. And gust. Try to get away from that scumbag. Like, damn, these things are fast as fuck. <laughs> That's why I say it's kind of hard to tell what Pokemon or what. Just because some of them are like really damn small. Alright, got ourselves a motherfucking ditto. That's how we do. Okay. <laughs> Went down for 25 to 19. Oh, somebody murdered a poor rat in here. Professor, you have dead rats. Well, you have rats in general in here. You should do something about that. Okay, so let's bring out everything that I've caught. So, we caught... Coughing this. Oh god, I can't see. My eyes. The little tiny ditto. The tiniest of dittos. <laughs> I just picture just randomly stepping on one of these for sure. So I wouldn't even blame any Pokemon character who actually steps on it. We got to show you guys like the whole model all the way around. And how it, the size comparison to our character. <laughs> hey, it's actually not half bad of um, how small it is compared to your portrait. It's just hard to see far away. Coughing. Okay, so he does have levitate. So he can be in the air. I was thinking to myself, does he supposed to be a little bit higher off the ground? Because they levitate by like default. Eh, hey, not half bad. I always love the symbol on his stomach. Next one is. Is it Grimmer? Gr Gloomer? Something like that? So this one is poison gas. So that's what was hitting us. Dude, just imagine having like a huge AoE like that. Too bad Pokemon don't really spawn on top of each other. Or that would be like the easiest reset of my life. <laughs> I 
<laughs> the jumping animation, I love it. <laughs> but I think this one's actually pretty cool. I don't want to evolve him, but he's probably got to be evolved sooner or later. Aren't you happy about that, buddy? I mean, to be honest, I... No, okay, I was about to say, to be honest, I think I can evolve you right now, but I think you actually need something else instead. You guys probably have to be, like, way higher level. And the last thing we caught was the fur fetch. Let's go ahead and throw it right in here. Okay, here we go. There's fur fetch. <laughs> Man, the Sword and Shield one actually isn't half bad, to be honest. He just reminds me of, like, a paladin. Alright, he jumps here. He also flies, but, uh, okay. I'm pretty sure that's not how fur fetches work, but you know, hey. Bro, we're not gonna, we're not gonna question it. <laughs> He's a flying type, so. You know, maybe that is how he does it. We can flying normally, but we're just, we just stand in the air, boys. <laughs> That's how much badass the fur fetch has. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we're going to end it off there. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. It's all about humanity.